Hi guys, today I want to show you Yahoo's Android launcher called Aviate Launcher. Previously it was in beta, recently came out of beta. It's a fairly nice um, sorry, launcher. It's nice and neat and categorizes your application automatically. It's supposed to simplify your home screen. I think it does a fairly good job of that. So this is your main home screen. You could add widgets. Um, hitting the menu takes you to setting, settings, the system settings by the way. Um, you could change these photos, uh, you could add widgets, you can delete them, edit them, etc. you got a clock widget, that's the one I've added myself, there's a widget there. These are the applications you can add yourself. I don't think you can have more than two um, rows. Uh, these are the ones I prefer to have, so I've, um, edited them, I've added them myself. So you could just, you know, um, remove it from favorites and add another one. So just say, I'll remove this one. It's just as easy as that and I want to add another application I could just drag and drop it um, so yeah that's more or less about home screen here is your collections is basically uh, folders with the applications that they think um, is suited for that folder or collection so you've got social productivity photography music and utilities I think um, when they predict the application, they do a pretty good job of it. Um, most of the application where it's supposed to be, um, it does go in there. Um, obviously, you can edit them, so you can move these about. And you could also expand uh, expand it, and you get the rest of the applications. And you could also add more collections yourself as well. Obviously, you just say you want to add sports, and then you can just drag and drop the application that you want uh, from the app drawer um, into the sports folder. Also, they give you suggestions as well, just in case um, you know you want to download more applications. You can choose their one. This is owned by Yahoo, so a lot of the stuff will be Yahoo based or um, recommended by Yahoo itself. So if you like them, you just add them, and you'll be able to download it from Play Store. Here you have your app drawer. The applications are ordered alphabetically. It's uh, pretty nice. Um, uh, it's very easy to use. Very nice and smooth. No lag whatsoever. Um, it's almost like Nova, I, I, that's why I really like this because it's got a smoothness like Nova Launcher. You can search applications here and you could also add shortcuts, sorry about that. You could also create shortcuts by hitting the icon. This uh, this panel basically changes according to the day and way, um, time of day and where you are at the moment. And basically it kind of recognizes where you are and which uh, services that you use and it will display them here. So at the moment it's got the settings tab open for me. I could set my location and I could set my sorry home location and my workplace. So these uh, these two things um, later on I'll be able to navigate to these two places more easily through the launcher. Um, these are just standard stuff um, they've recommended me. Well, my own applications, but they've done this automatically. I haven't done this myself. And you can go to your previous home screen, add collections. Um, these you can add a collection. You could also add a widget. Here is um they calling it spaces is basically a few more things that you'll be doing throughout the day. So you got today, you got moving if you're out and about, if you're going somewhere, if you're listening. So let's just go one by one. This is today, so they'll basically give you um art news articles really. and obviously different stuff on different categories, politics, sports, world, um, UK news, etc. Um, here same you could add a collection and you could also add a widget. You also got settings here Settings um, this is the panel that we were on before I just forgot to mention one thing you can change the theme to light to dark I prefer the dark um, Theme so I left it to dark and you could also set eye compact obviously it has to be um, Compatible with this launcher and it will basically change all the icons whichever icons eye compact supports um, So that's pretty neat it's also got um, listening, or basically all your music, uh, etc. applications. You could also say, um, it says click to control your music through Aviate. I haven't done this yet, but I probably plan on doing so soon. Um, obviously, you can expand these and see the rest of them. Uh, same same here, you could, they suggest applications, so you can add more applications, Pandora, Soundhound, etc. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, same, you got add collection, add widgets. You've got work. Um, these are the applications that they assume that you're going to need while you're working. Um, same, you can send email. Um, you can add your location as well, your work location, so you can navigate to that place more easily and conveniently. 
you can uh, as you can see it says no calendar no events today so basically probably scan my calendar and checks if i've got any event coming up today and it will remind me of that and directions to my house and here you've got nearby this basically displays stuff near your house um different restaurants and attractions etc and you could also share your home screen and that's about it um you got help there obviously that's pretty obvious um, that's about it guys let me know what you guys think and yeah, if you pull this up it shows your favorite um, sorry your favorite contacts that's pretty neat um, that's about it guys I've probably gone through everything um, thanks for watching um, do like this video if you liked it Subs uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I've got tons of videos coming up soon and um, I hope you enjoyed the video until next time I'll see you in the next one all the links will be in the description by the way take care